Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, it's the absolute coldest part of winter, it's the middle of January, and uh, one thing I have learned about motorcycling over the years is if your hands are cold, you are not a happy biker. So this video is all about these things, heated gloves. If you're interested in heated gloves, stick around, stay tuned. So heat your gloves then, I am a fan, it has to be said. I've tried all sorts of gloves over the years and uh, even though you can buy some really bulky winter type gloves, uh, often the trade-off is that they are so bulky you can't feel the controls and, uh, and your hands just get cold after, if you're riding you know, an hour or something, your hands get cold no matter what. But the things that I've found do definitely work are heated gloves. Now I've been through a few sets over the years. In fact, these are my three sets of heated gloves. These are the ones that uh, I started with. These are from a company called EXO uh, and these were pretty good. They're, they're nice and supple, uh, got a little bit of armour in there as well and they're made of leather. Um, and with these um, gloves, they're actually they're quite nice and, uh, and supple as well. These ones you plug directly into the bike and it makes them nice and toasty and warm. But the problem is you do have to have the right lead plumbed in on your bike in order to plug them in. So if you're going to ride somebody else's bike or a different bike, I ride lots of different bikes, then they're no good because it only works with your bike. So, uh, so I had to change those. Those I used for the first couple of years. After that, uh, last year, in fact, uh, last season, I moved on to these. These are the Vice heated gloves. Uh, these are very good because they've got a battery actually built into the cuff, which is quite nice. Uh, the problem I found with these, though, is that the battery only lasted about an hour, hour and a half tops, um, and they were pretty bulky. Once you put them on, because the battery is in the cuff, they do, it's hard to, you know, they scuff up with your jacket, a right old pain to get on. And then when you actually have got them on with your jacket on and in place, they're actually really, really stiff and really hard to fill the buttons, change the indicators, things like that. So unfortunately, although I quite liked them, they did keep my hands nice and warm. Um, the battery wasn't very good in terms of its longevity. And uh, in fact, they're just not supple enough to, to ride safely in my view. So this year, this season, I've tried something else. These are, uh, so I've been moved on to these. These are from Kais. They're brand new uh, this year. Uh, they're called the Kais G501 Armoured Heated Gloves. Bit of a mouthful, but that's because they're armoured and heated. And the funny thing you think, well, not funny thing about these, but the thing about these is, is the armour on these, just on the knuckles, complies with something called uh, EN 13594 uh, slash 2015 and these are the first heated gloves that comply with that and that's basically is the standard defining um, knuckle protection and, and as I say on these they've got these sort of um, carbon fibre type protectors on uh, so if you do come off and have a scrape you know they're going to do a good job. The thing about these that I like is they are kind of dual fuel if you like um, you can run them both off of a battery and off of the bike so um, you've got the best of both worlds if you, if you know you're going to be doing a really long journey you can plug them into the bike uh, and they'll run forever or if you're just doing a short journey or you're on somebody else's bike then um, you can you know you can plug them into the battery and the battery doesn't go in the in the cuffs either it goes on a on a you know on a lead you plug them in you put your battery in your pocket in fact let me get the battery i'll show you okay so here's the here's the battery that i use mostly with these gloves when i'm going battery powered this one is marked uh, 2600 milliamp hours uh, and you can see when it's charged it's got these little lights on there I don't know if you can see them in the light because it's fully charged at the moment four lights come on so you know when it gets depleted it's small enough that you can sit that in your inside pocket it doesn't take up a lot of room and then there's a lead you just plug in there it goes through your sleeves plugs into the uh, into the gloves just in these sockets here and away you go um, and then uh, if you do need more capacity and you still want to go battery powered you can get another battery as well which I've also got which is this one uh, this is obviously a bigger capacity this one is marked uh, 5,200 milliamp hours. So theoretically, it's uh, about twice the size of that one. Um, so it lasts a lot longer, of course. Um, and on the bench, I have done a test to, to actually power the gloves to see how long they run. And the um, basically, the 2,600 milliamp hour battery lasted three hours, 20 minutes on full power, full heat uh, on the bench. Um, and then, so on that basis, the large one should last nearly seven hours. Now, in reality, if it's uh, a really cold day, it does eat the power a bit more than that. And in, in actual tests using the small battery, I've had um, uh, three, uh, no, sorry, with a large battery, I've had three and a half solid hours on full power out of that battery. Three and a half hours on the bike when you're riding at sub-zero temperatures is probably enough for anybody. So that's worked really well. Um, what else? Um, oh, yeah, I mentioned that uh, with the, I said the heat on full power. You can see these have got these buttons here. These are really easy to use. Basically, you press it and hold it, it goes green, you're on full power. You press it again, it goes amber, you're on middle power. Press it again, it goes red, you're on low power. Or actually the other way around, red is highest power. Um, so yeah, so that's them. They're made out of textile, as I say, the uh, carbon fibre reinforcement as well, and leather. Um, when you put them on, what I like about them, get the right hand, is they've got these two straps on these. 
all these winter gloves are a bit of a faff, it has to be said, but you've got this strap here that means it holds it in place, and then you've got the one which opens the, this bit up nice and big, so you can actually get it over your sleeves fine. And this bit here is not super bulky like my old gloves. I can get that under or over my jacket, no problem at all. And they're lovely and comfortable as well. Anyway, so that's uh, what the uh, gloves look like here on the bench. That's all very well. Let's go and try them on the bike and see how they fare. Okay, how are the uh, gloves in terms of their waterproof claims? Well, these have uh, this Hippora material that claims to be uh, waterproof, and it's basically Kais's version, I think of Gore-Tex and I've been riding in this driving rain for the last half an hour or so and at the moment my hands are absolutely dry I can feel that they're dry no problem at all so uh, yeah the claims of waterproofness seem uh, seem sound no problems there so so much for how the uh, Kais ET gloves are in terms of waterproofness what about uh, the heating facility well I've been riding with these gloves for about the last two and a half hours and it's been raining for most of that ride it's only just stopped and started to dry out now and uh, I have to say the heating is pretty good I've got these on full power at the moment you may not be able to see that the full red is lit but it is and the backs of my hands are quite toasty but I guess that is the, the, the thing with them it is just the backs of the hands not the fronts the ideal thing would be to have heated grips as well and then your you know palms would be warm as well because the problem is these gloves, are, because it's been wet all morning when I've been riding, have become quite saturated. So the, uh, you know, naturally with the airflow, they're quite cold over them. So I'm having to have them on the full power setting, just so they're slightly warm. Having said that, if you don't have heated grips, like I don't here on my street triple, then uh, it's the backs of your hands that would get coldest. So they're they're great at that. The backs of my hands are lovely and toasty. So although not perfect, the uh, heat doesn't extend to the ends of the fingertips, for example. But I've yet to find a pair of heated gloves that do that. They do generally keep your hands nice and warm, which of course is their key function. And in that respect, out of all the uh, heated gloves I've ever used, and as, as I say, this is my third pair that I've owned, these are definitely the best at keeping your hands nice and warm. The other thing, uh, I guess, as well to consider when you're thinking about gloves, and something that I certainly take into account is how well you can feel the controls and so on and I have to say these Kais ones are great in terms of their maneuverability and the tactileness you get through them pretty much as soon as you buy them they're not all stiff and need breaking in but they're nice and soft and supple so it's easy to feel the controls you get a switch gear and stuff it work really nice and then the other thing about uh, usability when you're actually on the bike with them is the fact that uh, just the way the the leads and so on work on this uh, I don't know if you can see the, you know, the connector there, waterproof connector. All nice and solid. There's no danger of them becoming disconnected without you, uh, without you realising. And again, with a big old light on the back, it's also very obvious. If they did come uh, disconnected, you see that the light would go off. So all in all, a thumbs up on the heating capability and the sort of usability of the gloves on the bike. Okay, so they seem to work pretty well on the bike, and I've been using these now throughout this last cold season. I've been wearing these since around about uh, September time. And in fact, I've been using them just as normal gloves without sometimes the power even being plugged in. I find them amply warm enough, actually, even without uh, the power. So that's quite good. They make quite nice gloves just in their own right. You will see them in some of my other videos if you're eagle eyed. You'll see that I've been wearing them without them being switched on. Um, but anyway, um, no uh, product is perfect, is it? So what are the pros and cons of these? I've made some li a list, as you would imagine. And uh, so first off, let's go through the negative points. First off, um, I would say that the, although they are well, they're definitely showerproof. I'm not sure I would say they're completely waterproof. You couldn't do your washing up in them uh, for a few hours and your hands stay dry. I find that um, once they get completely saturated, the heating in them isn't uh, affected. So if you're on a really cold, really wet day and you're riding for, say, an hour and a half, the, the wet does make them cold even if they're plugged in, unfortunately. Uh, I've yet to find a glove that's, uh, that doesn't do that. But if you're riding for, I would say, if it's a really cold day, around about zero degrees centigrade, uh, you would get a good three quarters of an hour to an hour in driving rain with the heat on, with your hands staying warm. After that, they do go cold. So that's that's the first thing. Um, the high capacity battery, as I say, runs out after about uh, three and a half hours when on full power. May or may not be enough for you. Uh, it's probably pretty much enough for me, and you don't have to have them on full power, of course. If you turn them down, you get more battery life. Um, the ends of your fingers, the, the heating on these, um, 
it's just on the outside. So the other thing I would say is you need heated grips as well if you're going to be riding consistently in really cold weather. But these, the elements in here just uh, heat the back of your hand and down the fingers. But I find the very tips of your fingers still do get a bit cold, particularly if it's wet as well. Again, I've yet to find a glove that keeps you completely, uh, completely warm. So the very tips of my fingers at least still remain cold when the gloves are saturated. Uh, what else? Um, oh, and then the last thing that I'll put down my negative list is the cost. £190 for a pair of these. Now, that does sound like a lot of money for a pair of gloves, but again, uh, that's comparable with the other um, heated gloves that I've had. You can get cheaper brands. I know that Oxford make a set of heated gloves that uh, are, I think, are around about £140, but you're looking between £100 and £200 for a set of heated gloves anyway, so 190 towards the top end. And I would say these are some of the better, well, they're the best heated gloves that I've used to date, uh, but not perfect for those reasons. All right, fair enough. Then what about the positive points then? Again, a list. Um, uh, comfortable. I mentioned that on the videos. They are just, they are super comfortable. They're some of the com most comfortable gloves that I've worn. Uh, and that, I think, is a, is a great plus point. Forget about the waterproofness and heating. If you can feel the controls and they're comfortable to wear, you're going to use them. And that's what I like about these. And that's why I tend to use them even without the uh, electrics plugged in. Uh, so comfort. The approved protection. I just like the idea of the fact that these, in fact, are the only heated gloves you can get that has that approved knuckle protection, I understand. Uh, I quite like that. Um, supple fit, you don't have to break them in, as soon as you wear them they're ready to go, uh, you know you don't have to spend weeks getting them nice and soft. Um, oh, the heating in these, I've made a note here that it's the hottest heating I've ever come across, so when you've got them on full power it really is properly, properly toasty. Some of the other gloves that I've got just keep you sort of lukewarm but these really do get warm, so that um, built in controller is nice, so they're excellent for that. Um, the connections are very good. They're waterproof on here, the, the way that you connect the um, gloves to the power source. Uh, they don't just fall out all the time. My original set of gloves, these ones, were fine plugging them into the bike, but occasionally you'd ride along and realise that one glove had gone cold, and that's because the connector used to just fall out. Um, whereas with these, it's a good solid fit, so, so that's another definite plus point. Um, of course, they're versatile, the fact that you can use them both with the battery or plug them into the bike. And the other thing I like about that is there's all sorts of ways you can plug them into the bike. Um, Kais actually do various different adapters. I've fitted each of my bikes with a sort of a fly lead so I can charge the batteries. I use o Oxford battery chargers, oh, they're on the floor actually at the moment, charging the batteries up, but I use the same lead that I charge the batteries up when they're in the garage here to power the heated gloves. So I haven't got to do anything different, I just uh, unplug the chargers in here, plug the gloves in and away I go. And you can get all sorts of different connectors that uh, Kais provides you with. So you know, like me, if you standardise on one particular type of connector, you should be able to do that. Uh, what else have I got on here? Um, oh, easy to control by the heat button, I've mentioned that already. All right then, uh, so the summary then I would say is, as I say, these are the best heated gloves I've come across to date. They're not perfect, but when used in combination with heated grips, they are absolutely fab in that they do keep your hands uh, warm for at least an hour, even if you're in really cold temperatures and driving rain. Beyond that, I'm afraid your hands are going to get cold again. Alrighty, uh, I hope that's been of some interest. Uh, if you do like the looks of these, then as I say, they're called the Kais, um, make sure I get the right model, G501 uh, heated gloves. Uh, you can get them from uh, Sports Bike Shop. I'll stick a link below. Uh, that's the cheapest place I've found. So they're around about, about a penny off £190. So link below, click on that, and uh, you can go and have a look at them online, read some reviews there as well, and make your own mind up. All right, uh, that's it for now. Hope this has been of some interest. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Till then, this has been the Mr. Flyer. Cheerio.